Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Wind Waker HD. So last time we scoured the Seven Seas in search of booty and we found a whole bunch of it. We found some very interesting places as well as some maps that actually show us where all of the caves and all of those weird crow's nest watchtower thingies are on the map as well. Anyway, we're back on Windfall Island, sorry, Outsa Island, and the reason for that is apparently Mr. Pig over here, something we can do with him. Oh, Link, you made it back. Say, so, Link, do you remember the day you first caught this Oinka and brought him over here? Just look at that thing. Isn't he a lot bigger now than the last time you saw him? And not just bigger, he's a lot heavier too. Yeah, he's fat. Say, so, Link, is there any way you could pick him up and take him for a walk for me? I'd really appreciate it. My back is just killing me. Yeah, I know how you feel, buddy. I know how you feel. Okay, so, I don't know if you need the Gorum bracelet or the Power bracelet, whatever the hell it's called, I forget the name, but we have it. So I don't know if you need that for this, but yeah, apparently the, uh, oh, there's one there. Maybe this one doesn't work, but apparently if you throw bait down in these weird, like, dark bits of ground, the pig can dig in here. I'd like to point out, by the way, I thought this chick was going to eat the pigs. There used to be three of them. That's all I'm saying. I'm pretty damn sure she's had the other two and she's fanning this one up to eat it as well. And I don't know where the hell she's disappeared to. But yes, I believe the other patch is all the way across this bridge, so maybe I'll cut out the trip because it's going to be real freaking slow, apparently. Yeah. Eh. Eh. Okay. Some. Sometime later, we finally got the freaking pig across. Jesus Christ. There you go. Eat that shit. Where the hell are you going? No, you eat that. That's a bad piggy. See, there's two patches here. I don't know if they're different or... What the hell? I guess he's eating it. Anyway, I'm gonna chuck some down there because I... No! Bad seagull. I think the seagull stole it. No, piggy. Oh, my Christ. Now, <laughs> pigs are running away. Seagulls are stealing my food. Sons of bitches. Okay, let's try putting you closer. Just put you down there. Smack you into the wall completely accidentally. Go, piggy. That's rats. Okay, no! Bad seagulls. I think the pig got there first. Oh, finally. Holy shit. Oh! We got a harpies. I was not expecting that, but I will take it. No, 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 no. You don't leave yet. We need to test this other patch. God damn, I don't have any in the bar. At least this gives me some space that I, so that I can buy some more baits. And that way we can actually finally get a silver membership from uh, Beetle. Because we still have them, but we're like two points away or something. Oh! Got a bunch of cash and some bombs. Eh? something I guess. Right, let's grab a heart piece. Yes. Okay, so apparently that was our fourth one, so we get another heart container. Good. Okay, let's just check very quickly. Can I see any other patches? I don't think so. Well, now you can drown. Haha. -ha. Oh, you didn't even land in the water. Well, they kind of did. See ya, jerk ass. Okay, well, anyway, I don't know where the hell we're going next. I think someone mentioned that we want to go to two eyed uh, Two-Eyed Reef or something like I forget the name. Something like that. But yeah, apparently it's kind of east of here, so I guess I'll bring you back in when I find it. I think we've already found it, but apparently it was something there quite important that I missed. So yeah. Okay, we're almost at Two-Eyed Reef. We're in the same square as it. It's two squares to the east of outset, just for anyone that's some fa for some reason using this as a guide. Son of a bitch, bud. God damn. Okay, it didn't hit me. Damn. Yeah. Get roadhoused. Okay, I think there are more birds around here. Yes, there are. Yeah, I don't... I can't remember what these things are called. Like, towers or some watchtowers? I don't know. But either way, I don't think we've been up here, so... I'm gonna go swing by and check it out once we're here, because why the hell nuts? That was a hell of a shot. I'm proud of myself. For once, I actually didn't whiff. Okay. Now to begin the incredibly arduous climb up this thing. Then again, still way better than Twilight Princess is climbing. Good god, yeah, it wasn't that bad. And yeah, we definitely haven't been up here. I think I would have remembered frozen pots and, you know, a giant sausage fest going on here. Okay, and spin attack of j- Aww. Damn you, frozen pot, you've ruined everything. Anyway, before I forget, I should probably point out, we are still going to try and go for at least one of the trifle shards in this episode. Because I did promise that we were going to start doing that. But yeah, apparently there's like a whole bunch of important shit I still need to grab, so... We're going to be doing some more exploring, basically. But we're going to try and explore on the way to the Trifles pieces. Because we know where a couple of them are. In fact, it's a good point. One of them's on the outset island. Probably should have grabbed that whilst we were there. But, you know, screw it. I guess we'll go back and try and get that towards the end of the video or something. Or maybe next video. I don't know. But, anyway. The point I'm trying to make was... We are still going to be going for the Trifles... Did I just get 100? I don't know. 
But yeah, we're going to be going for the Triforce pieces. So, it, it's going to involve a lot of sailing around anyway. So, this way... Oh, there's loot over there. I guess we'll go grab that. But yeah, this way we can at least swing by different things that I've missed along the way. We still need to find where the hell our cabana is. Because we got given the cabana deed by Miss Marie. Still haven't found that. So yeah, don't worry. There's still a bunch of shit we're, we're going to do. But... Probably just in kind of an ass backwards order, but you know me, it's kind of the way I do things. Okay, so we just arrived at Two-Eyed Reef. I, th I think that's what it was called. <laughs> Something like that. But yeah, basically it was the one that looked like a dice on the map. The, uh, the sort of two pip dice, which I guess is why it's called a Two-Eyed Reef. And... Yeah, we definitely went here before? Because I remember we destroyed all the ships and the cannons, and then a chest appeared. We flew over to it, and I think we got a treasure chart from that. And I don't know why there's a whole bunch of, like, sunken booty here, because... I felt like... Like, again, we definitely came here. I remember killing all the ships and everything. This stuff wasn't here before. I don't know why it's here now, but... Screw it. Guess we're going to destroy all this shit again and go fish it all up. I imagine it's probably just going to be a bunch of 50 rupees, but... Still going to be handy, if nothing else. Yeah, it's weird. Does money respawn now? Or does it spawn at different times? Because... I'd be very surprised if I missed this. But yeah, this is not what we're looking for. Apparently, there's like a flock of seagulls around here or something. Got the same, really seeing them right now, but you know, whatever. But yeah, apparently there's a flock of seagulls and there's something we can do with them there. I imagine it's got something to do with the pears. So I bought a bunch of those just in case. Okay, is that everybody? Good God. Okay, well, anyway, I guess let's try searching around and fishing up this shit. Like I say, I'm imagining it's just going to be a bunch of 50 rupees, but, you know, we'll see. I'm just confused why it's, a, why it's here now and it wasn't here before. Anti-am link any freaking time. Yeah, okay. Well, screw it. Give me a moment here to get the rest of this, and then I'll try and find these seagulls. Okay. Oh, the seagulls are over there. But yeah, I found Spyglass Man over here. I don't remember us finding him here last time. I know he's been in a few different locations, so maybe he was, maybe I just don't remember. Oh, oh, too bad. All I can see is seagulls now. What a shame. I was certain that huge ferret could be seen right around here. Ah, okay. Of course, magic. That fairy's using magic. That is the only explanation. Right. So yeah. I remember, like, we came in here and we heard about a fairy and I speculated that maybe she was trapped in here and we had to, like, destroy the ships or something to free her. Didn't end up happening, so... I guess she's, like, disguised herself as a bunch of seagulls? Cause, you know, why the hell not? So I guess give me a moment here to get back into our boat and we'll try sailing over there and try using the pair or something and see what happens. I have no idea what could happen, but, you know, I guess we'll see. Okay, so just as I got in the boat, it became daytime, and then I sailed over to where the seagulls were. And they ain't here now, so let's try changing it back to night. Maybe they only show up at night, I guess it's a possibility, but... Yeah, other than that, I have no idea. Hello? Seagulls? Are you here now? Yes, you are. Well, thank Christ for that. Okay, so... Let's try equipping a... Okay, let's not equip our pet. Whoops. <laughs> Well, shit. Oh! I guess this would be one of the big octos that we heard about. Oh! His eyeball thingy's glowing blue. Oh, okay, so I guess we probably have to hit all of them to beat it? Oh, it's got some on the back of its head as well. Come here, buddy. There we go. Has he only got one on the back? Yes, he does. Okay, so now it looks like we got to wait for him to turn around so we can hit him in the face again. I, mean, I guess we'll try bombing the shit out of the back, but... I don't think it's really going to help. I guess we need to hit the yellow one. Please. Stop. Stop missing, Link. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's just keep firing. Eventually we'll hit it. Yes. So, was that the fairy in disguise? Was that like a test? Or was that actually a legit big octo? A little bit confused right now. Oh, Waker of the Winds. Thanks to you, I have been freed from that beast foul grasp. Oh, well, there you go. As thanks, I shall give you just a little of my power. Oh, just a little. I want a lot. Or preferably all of it. I'm not greedy. I'm the hero, goddammit. It's for a good cause. 
Okay, so what do we get? The tension is killing me. Your magic power has increased. You now have twice as much as what you had before. Oh, I get. May the winds of fortune always blow across your bell. And off she goes. Well, that was cool as hell. Also incredibly random, but you know, I'll take it. So yeah, uh, you may remember the, uh, I can't remember what it was called, like the flat platform or something. It was like a flying mini game where we had to float around on our leaf and then get air off of the weird tornado cyclone thingies and get to the end. We couldn't get far enough because we didn't have enough magic gear, and I was very confused about this. Apparently, I guess we needed the, uh, the double bar. Now it makes sense. I don't remember where it was. Maybe we won't go back there. Maybe we will. But yeah, for now, we got bigger fish to fry. You know, no pun intended. Anyway, so the reason we're back on Windfall is because you may remember the auction house. Apparently, there's some armor you can buy in there. And now that I think about it, we've only had one tunic for the entirety of the game. I feel like if I'd missed tunics, people would have been shouting at me. So, maybe there is no red and blue tunic, though I could swear I've seen a screenshot before of Link in a red tunic. So maybe that's what we're going here for now, because apparently there's some kind of magic armor that you can buy in the auction. Uh, he said, like, you may have to keep doing different auctions until it shows up. So I guess we're just gonna dig around here. Whatever shows up, I guess I'll buy it, unless it's a complete piece of shit. And hopefully we'll get the Magic Armor show up quickly. Though I somehow doubt it. I also don't know how much he's gonna cost, but we do have a lot of money right now, so... I guess we'll see. Yeah, okay, buddy, get on with it. Jesus. So one thing that annoys me about the auction, this dude rambles so damn much. Really? Another treasure chance? Eh. Well, I guess we'll buy it. But, you know, not exactly what I came here for, and apparently it's dirt cheap. 130 rupees. Okay, there's nearly 10 seconds left, so hopefully this is long enough to stun them. I don't really care too much about this treasure chance. Well, I guess I probably should, because, you know, we're trying to get other ones. Okay, please, stay stunned, goddammit. I swear to God, if you bid at the last second, I'm gonna be pissed off. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we paid 130 for that thing. You'd think starting at 5 wouldn't go that high, but no. It was expensive as shit. Okay, well, give me a moment here to go back out and come back in, and we'll see what else he's selling. The tension is killing me. A... a joy pendant? <laughs> Are you shitting me? I can get them for free. Like, very quickly. 40 rupees as well? The chart was five. Okay, fuck it. I am bidding on this thing. I don't know if we have to buy it to have the armor show up. But uh, for now, I'm just going to skip it. Okay, so I skipped the joy pendants. And then I came back in and he was selling the joy pendant again. Maybe that was a coincidence. I don't know, but I'm going to buy it anyway. And I want you to know paying 150 for a goddamn joy pendants. It actually kind of kills me inside a little bit. That's ridiculous. Okay, 10 seconds left. This should be long enough to stun them. I swear to God, if I have to sit through this a third time, I ain't gonna be happy. Don't you dare snipe my joy pendants. Okay, perfect. Okay, <laughs> let's go back out, go back in, and see what we got now. Oh, apparently we've bought everything that he's selling. So he, he won't auction anything else now. I guess we have to wait a while, maybe? I don't know, we're like right at the end of the game. How much longer do they want us to wait? But yeah, I guess we'll come back in like a few days or something. Maybe when we've got the rest of the uh, the Traffles pieces, we'll try again then. And then if he's still not selling it at that point, then fuck it. And yeah, it looks like, I mean, we're showing up on the picture in that uh, treasure chart. So I'm pretty damn sure it's like just around the corner from us. I think it's like over here somewhere? Damn it, Beetle, move your boat! You son of a bitch! Yeah, I think it's like right... In fact... I can hear it. Why can't I see it? That's... Unusual. Is this a special treasure chart? What the hell? I'm... I'm trying... I'm trying to locate it. From sound. And when you're talking, it's not that easy. Maybe I should shut up. I think it's... On the left of me, maybe? I didn't mean to put it in there, but, you know, screw it. I think it's here. No? It's somewhere around here. Okay, maybe it's a little tiny bit more left. 
Yeah, that sounds a bit better. Yes. Okay. That could have took much longer. Weird though, I don't know why it didn't show up. Like, not it. I didn't have any beam of light, didn't even have the normal ring. What do we get? F really? I paid like, what was it, 130 for that or something? I got ripped off. Yeah, that was it. Well, that sucks. Bonsai. Okay, so we're going back to the uh, Skull Rock thingy over here on Outset Island, because I definitely remember the fish talking about a piece of the Triforce being here. See, here's the thing. I don't know if we have to do something to get them. Like, maybe they're going to be like mini dungeons or something. It wouldn't surprise me, because it would be kind of strange if it was just like, oh, pick up a rock. Hey, there's a piece of the Triforce. Probably going to be some kind of fight or something challenging, like a puzzle or whatever involved. Maybe there won't be, but yeah, I'd be surprised, so... You know, I'm preparing myself here for uh, absolute torture. What the hell? That was strange, but sure. But yeah, someone mentioned to get one of the Triforce pieces is like a giant pain in the dick. This might be the one? Oh no. And yeah, this definitely looks like, ah, oh, fairies. Do we need any more? No, we don't. Well, I guess we'll just pick them up then. But yeah, this looks to me like it might be a trial or something. The Savage Labyrinth. Deep in the never-ending darkness, the golden shard you seek awaits. Well, well shit. <laughs> a labyrinth of darkness, naturally. Oh, there's uh, a shit ton of bats. Did we fight in a cave that was like exactly like this? At least, you know, this room. Because I'm guessing from the hole in the ground, covered in fire, probably gonna be uh, a bunch of rooms. That's a good point. Maybe, ow, dicks. Maybe this is going to be like a mini uh, cave of ordeals from Twilight Princess. Wouldn't surprise me, there's a lot of stuff in this that's also in Twilight Princess. I mean, obviously, Twilight Princess came second, but I played it first, so... It's kind of confusing my brain. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking this is like a, a cave of trials we got here. I, I would imagine it's probably going to be small. I doubt it's going to be 50 waves, but you never know. Maybe it is. So far, so good, though, but... I should probably be a little bit more careful with my HP, if that is the case. Because those might be the only fairies we get. And I just realized... Well, son of a bitch, I killed him. But I just realized we need joy pendants, do we not? Can't we st- Ow, can't we steal them from these guys? Yes, we can. Stop hitting me! Jesus, you dick! There we go, okay. Well, he smacked his friend. Apparently he killed his friend. That's murder, sir. That's murder. You can go down for that. Speaking of going down, ha ha! And, you know, insert a joke about your mother here, etc. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so, what's... Oh, red blobs. Well, I guess... Oh, you know, choo choos. I know the name. I guess we'll grab the red stuff whilst we're here, because... Yeah, I guess there's not really much point, really, now that I think about it. And, you know, I'm lazy, so screw the rest of them. But, I mean, yeah, we can buy a red potion for, like, 20 rupees. 20 rupees... Ain't exactly a lot, whereas collecting five bits of red shit, also not a lot, but way more effort. Hello, gentlemen, how's it going? Can't we just kill these by smacking them? Yes, we can. Okay, I think we can also counter them as well. Oh, there's four of them. Come here, buddy. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, screw it. Stay here. Yeah, that'll teach you. Am I... Was I not hitting him at all? Oh, that's gonna hurt. Haha. -ha. Almost got me, didn't you, buddy? Every time I do the jump attack, you're too far away. Stop ruining my special moments. I just try and count this one. There we go. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Okay, was that all of them? Yes, it was. Okay, so I'm gonna guess there's probably gonna be 10 waves here. I don't know how many we've done so far. Maybe like four or five already? I don't know. This one looks pretty much like a combination of the first and second waves. Is that ever? Ah, oh, it's another bat. It's simple. We kill the Batman. Okay, I'm gonna guess that was wave six. So I'm thinking maybe four more for ten? Something like that? Oh, we have fiery bats this time. Did not mean to use that. Well, I did, but I thought it was the bow. Now I remember that, uh, no, bow ain't there no more. I'm just too lazy to equip it. Also, there's not really any point us wasting our arrows on bats. Because if it really is like a cave of ordeals type situation, we may need our arrows for something much more important. So, you know, why waste them? Okay, you are dead, sir. Let's get the crap out of here. <laughs> I love hearing the secret music just followed by Link's terrified scream. Like, a little, you know, happy plinky plonky music and then, ah! 
It just... It, uh... It, the parallel is way too good. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, please. Just give me your freaking joy pendants. That's all I want. I don't know if we have enough of them now. I think we only needed nine? I would say we've got pretty close to that. Maybe not quite nine yet. Maybe like seven or eight or something. I'm the counting, so how the hell do I know, but... Yeah. I'm also wondering if you can actually pick up, like, the sticks and the, uh, the swords and whatnots and bring them down with you. Oh, hello. It's a couple of moblins. Up to no good, making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle to a town called Windfall, I guess. I'm very lazy with the jokes today. What do you want from me? I'm fucking exhausted. It's, it's been a long day. There we go. You dead, sir? Yes, you are. Hey, you know what? I was going to grab the, uh, the glaive thingy, but I'm too lazy. Screw it. Oh! This is different. There's still a hole in the ground now. Oh, shit. I'm guessing this must... Oh, holy shit. I'm guessing this must be wave 10. And every 10 waves in the Cave of Ordeals in Twilight Princess, we had a beam of light that allowed us to leave. And then we could go deeper. So... Yeah. It's not 10 waves, is it? Please don't tell me it's actually 50. <laughs> Can't one surprise me at this point. Okay, seriously, what the hell am I doing with the boomerang? Please. I just want to kill a bunch of you. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. Okay, fuck it. Let's just go for like a, a triple. Triple kill. There we go. Oh, that's right. They don't actually die to the boomerang. That's kind of infuriating. I think they died to the bow? I guess we'll try putting the bow on. Why the hell not? Again, this might be a waste of arrows at this point if we really do have to do 50 waves. But, you know, screw it. Let's, talk, let's just hope it's more like, you know, 20 or 30 waves. Doing 50 just for one piece of the Triforce, considering I think there's like seven pieces. Seems a little ridiculous, you know? Like, how can you really go up from there? Okay, well, anyway, give me a moment here to reset the recording, and then we'll carry on. Okay, I'm back. It's been mere moments for you, but for me, it's been 15 minutes. The power of technology. Isn't it amazing? Okay, so... You may notice we're finding a bunch of green blobs here. Green blobs? We're pretty much like the most basic of enemy. And yet we're on like wave 12, 13 now, something like that. So, really? There's more? Oh. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Oh, there was only four of them. Why was one of them hiding? What a dick. But anyway, green blobs are like the most basic of enemies. So, on wave 12, only finding those? Ow dick makes me think they're pacing themselves because you know i would expect oh my god i would expect the last waves probably got dark nuts you know just like in the uh, the cave of ordeals seems to be like a running theme it's like the the toughest enemy they usually throw at you i guess them and the uh the re-deads is that their name you know the ones that stare at you and they freeze you so i'm imagining probably gonna run into a bunch of shit like that towards the end so it really is making me wonder if we do actually have 50 waves here. Or at least, you know, quite a few. Because, eh, they're still throwing pretty basic enemies at us. Oops, I did not mean to shoot you, sir. I thought I had the grappling hook on. Son of a bitch. But hey, on the bright side, this allows us to get the rest of the joy pens that we need. Like I say, I'm pretty sure we were very close, but this should be enough to push us over the edge. What are you doing? You don't need a burning stick of doom. I ain't gonna save you, buddy. Right, I think he's still alive, which is kind of infuriating. Well, screw it, we'll go finish him off in a second. There we go. Okay, so, must have 20 now. So that should be the 40 that we need to give uh, Miss Marie. Don't know what she's going to give us for that, but you would imagine something good. I mean, last time she gave us a bloody house. So, you know, you would imagine this eh, probably give us like an entire business now or something? I don't know. You can only really go up from there. Oh my god, I just kicked the crap out of all of them. God, that was awesome. And yeah, I know this now that we've restored power to the Master Sword, it actually glows perpetually. I thought originally that was just because we were under the influence of the soup. Oh my god, I hate these things. But no, it's 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 just permanently glowing now. So I assume it does more damage? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just, you know, an aesthetic thing until we actually fight Ganondorf. Maybe it's only more effective against him. I don't know, but goddamn does it look amazing. Okay, let's get rid of you. One for you, one for you. And you know what? No, 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 no. Oh, scary this damn thing. I hate the way my sword bounces off of them. I've ran about that before. It's the Master Sword. A freaking little plant seed thing should not be immune to the Master Sword. 
that's just silly. I mean, I get, you know, I get that it's leaves are supposed to be like, you know, armor, but it's the Master Sword. Don't make no damn sense. This is ridiculous. Get, no, it's the duck. Oh my Christ, what the hell is going on? Well, I guess we'll, uh, oh my God, everyone get the hell away. We're going to grab the rest of these joy pendants. You know, if they pop up, we're gonna grab them, just in case. If nothing else, I think we can sell the spare ones, maybe, to Beetle. And we still need to buy that last treasure chart that he had for, like, what was it, 900 freaking rupees or something? So, still need a bunch of money. Plus, if we can actually buy the magic armor eventually at the auction house, I would imagine that's probably gonna set us back quite a lot of money as well. So, yeah, you know, money, we still need it. So, even if we only get them to sell them, still seems like a good idea to me. Plus, it's kind of like having money in reserve, because we can only hold a thousand. But we can also hold a shit ton of the, uh, the junk to sell. See, it makes sense to me. I'm, th I'm thinking, you know, with my brain and, and such. Okay, let's go for it. Oh my Christ. God damn, that thing is terrifying. So, no, no, you get out of here. Is that all of them? Apparently so. Well, that was quick. I just realized we have taken a lot of damage. That's bad, but... Yeah, I think overall we're still doing pretty damn well. Holy shit. Okay, so it's two of the dudes that we fought as mini-bosses in the, uh, uh, Forest Haven, I think it was? Moth... Moth Eula? Something like that? I think it's Moth Eula. Duck Eula. Okay, let's go for a spin attack and try and wipe out all these little dudes as well. <laughs> now that right there, that's a spin attack of justice. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Okay, let's jump down the hole. I would imagine that's probably going to be wave 20, because that was, you know, yeah. It was a tough fight. Well, you know, <laughs> relative to everything else that we fought so far. Okay, let's grab all of our money. We're almost up to a thousand again. Probably, well, yeah, very close. Probably going to waste some, but eh, you know, whatever. Okay, so, oh, what the hell? Okay, it looks like we can't go down further. Is that hole? Yes, it is. Ah, oh, we have wizard robes. I did not mean to grab that from you. I thought that was the bell. Well, oh, Jesus! Oh, God! It burns! Okay, please, just come here, buddy. Yeah, we're here. So I was gonna say, I wonder why the room was so damn big, but I just guess it's just so that... It's not actually to give me any help, it's just to give the whiz robes more room to move around and be pains in the dick. Nothing really did them any good, you know, considering we're, like, two-shotting them with a the goddamn Master Sword. <laughs> God damn, the scream gets me every time. Oh, apparently these guys, apparently you can shoot them in the green eye, yeah. And the uh, the eye goes out and stuns them for a while so you can get around behind them, and then you keep ricocheting your sword off the back, apparently. Son of a bitch. Probably not going to bother doing that too much, because, again, we might need our arrows. So, you know. Plus, these guys are pretty damned easy. It doesn't mean they won't hit me. I mean, they already have. But, you know, generally speaking, they're pretty damn easy. Apparently, you can also do the uh, shooting in the eye thing on the big versions of those as well. I don't remember the big ones having eyes, but, you know, oh, well, good time to test, I guess. And, oh damn, we have nine arrows. Holy shit. That's not many at all. Yeah, okay, well, oh, okay, you do have an eye. It's like a little squinty one. There you go, buddy. Okay, let's try and get you as well. Oh, there's bonflowers over there. No, you pushed him out of the way. He's like, Bill, I'll save you. It was like the bodyguard. Only, you know, with worse singing and probably better acting. Yeah, that's right, I went there. Okay. <laughs> They're dead. Let's get the crap out of here. I just realized we're on half and a half and less than half a bar of magic. Not going so well. Why are there a bunch of pots? Oh, shit. Ow! Dick. <laughs> I should maybe really drink a red potion now. I really kind of don't want to. Eh, we'll resist for now. I think these guys do half a lot of damage. I don't know. I mean, you know, worst case scenario is we use a fairy, which is probably going to happen anyway. But, you know, I kind of want to try and maximize how much we can get out of the red potions. Because, again, I believe they fully restore your HP. Whereas I think the fairies do eight hearts. And, you know, to us now, that's nowhere near full. Used to be, but not now. Because, you know, got a ginormous HP bar. I'm going to snap your mother around the face with it. I really shouldn't record when I'm so exhausted. I say the weirdest shits. <laughs> okay, let's get what the scores are doing. Ow! Oh god, I'm burning. Did I put it out in time? Yes, I did. Okay, well, at least now we get optimal use of the goddamn red potion. There you go, buddy. Yummy! 
Okay, it does indeed fully restore you like I thought it did. Yeah, let's get the boomerang. Let's get the hook shot. Let's get the boomerang. Fuck it. I'm indecisive. <laughs> what do you want from me? I, I don't think we really need the hook shot anymore because again, we have definitely plenty of joy pendants. And I was about to say, I don't expect more of them to show up. And here they are, just to prove me wrong. Well, fuck you. No, no, no. Oh, you dick. I only did one heart though. Didn't they do like four hearts or eight or so something ridiculous? I think that was when it did like a jump attack or some kind of weird spin. I don't really know, but uh, yeah, apparently regular hits. Not that bad. Not that bad at all. You gotta remember we're on hero mode, so. Taking double damage, so that means he's only normally gonna do half a heart. That's really pathetic when you think about it. Oh, more of these dudes. And oh, let's go guessing. We already fought like, you know, four of them on their own. Three of them on their ow. Three of them on their own. Probably what. Oh my Christ. Probably really wasn't gonna make much sense at this point. Okay, the whiz rope is dead. Don't know if that's the only one. It seems to be. Still in the easy room if that's the case. I mean, I took damage because I suck. But you know, to a normal player, probably an easy room. Let's get over here. We don't look at explosions because we're a badass. Am I really done in here? Holy shit. I really didn't think it would be this long. Oh, more of these dudes and some skulls. It, it just gets. Ow! Just gets worse. Yeah, please. Check the bomb. No. Damn it. I don't even have the equipment. God, I hate everything. Stop hitting me. Jesus. Okay, we got the bomb off in time. Oh, let's try and get rid of the skull. You know, I can I can I can just keep missing. That works too, I guess. Oh, it's kinda of tempting to try and use the bomb flowers just to be flash. But screw it. Oh, okay, yeah, and they uh they sell off the bomb flowers as well. No. Why can I not hit you? Like what the hell? Son of a bitch. <laughs> well shit. You know, I was feeling quite good about our HP, you know, situation. Because we've only used one potion. Oh, well, chits. But, uh, yeah, we took a lot of damage in that room, so I'm not feeling quite so good about it now. And we have some double dark nuts, so I'm guessing this is the end of wave 30. Ow. And I think that was how wave 30 ended in the, uh, Twilight Princess Capable Deals. I may be wrong. I know, oh, Jesus. Well, shits. But yeah, I know 50 was triple dark nuts. We already fought Triple Dark Nuts. I think it was in uh, the Wind Temple. I think that was it. Might be been Earth. I don't know. Okay, please. I mean, but oh my God! Dang! Oh, we're getting off some damage. It's just me. Does he look like he's got like a blacksmith's apron or something? Kind of cool. There we go. Okay. You never know. This might be the end. There might only be 30 ways. But there's probably 50. Uh. Oh. This is different. Are we done? Oh god, please tell me with one ruby. That's better. Okay, please tell me we're done. Well, we're over a thousand rupees now. I mean, I guess we'll grab the rest of these. Even though it does literally nothing, but I doubt we can come back here. At least without finding our way through again and screw that shit. Okay, so we can examine you. Designs that reflect wind are drawn here. Okay, and we have a trifle symbol, which doesn't say anything. I remember these statues from the uh, Earth Temple, and we could destroy them by shining ma uh, by shining light on them with a magic mirror. So let's try using the Wind's Requiem here. There's no wind. Well, yeah, I know, but okay. Do I do, wrong button? Do I shine light on you? No. Do we cast Wind's Requiem? Uh, not cast, but use it here. Oh. How's that make any sense? Whatever, I'll take it! Could it be? Is, is this our Triforce piece at long last? Oh god, please! That was a hell of an ordeal, holy shit! Yes, you got a Triforce shard! You need seven more shards to form a complete piece of the Triforce. Oh, I thought there was seven, I guess there's eight in total. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Wind Waker HD.